This video demonstrates key introductory skills for the PRISM2 rebreather. It's intended to be used as a supplement to a class conducted by a certified and authorized PRISM2 rebreather instructor. Using a rebreather without proper instruction from a qualified professional instructor can result in death. Not all skills will be covered in this video. Assembly and basic setup skills are demonstrated in your PRISM2 CCR class and are carefully detailed in the user manual. Please refer to your manual regularly and use appropriate checklists every time you dive your rebreather. Most accidents can be prevented before getting in the water by using checklists, completing a proper pre-breathe sequence, and postponing dives if your rebreather is not fully functional. That's when it was packed and then it, when it expires. See, 8 of 2010 was when it was packed. It expires 8 of 2015. Okay? Let's begin. You make sure that your foam pad is down there. Okay? Make sure the foam pad is nice and straight, flat. If you have to, you can take the center tube out, put the foam pad in, and then put the center tube back into the, into the basket. When you pour this orb, it's dusty, so you don't want to breathe it. You may want to wear a mask, glasses, gloves. Always keep in the back of your mind three, okay? You're going to fill the basket a third, and then you're going to tap the basket all the way around about three times. Then we go up another third, tap the basket. Okay, firmly, but not, you know, you're not beating up your brother but you're giving it some firm tapping. And then you're gonna fill it all the way up to the top. And again, starting from the bottom, you're gonna beat it, you know, tap it on up three times. When you get that full and that's all tapped and settled down, now we're going to get into the final packing. And to do that, you're going to fill it all the way up to the top till it's flush. And then you're going to take your sponge and you're gonna put that on top of the Zorb and you're going to take your cap and you're going to screw it on to the unit. Now, when you screw it on, you filled it full of Zorb. So it's not gonna settle down. It's not gonna go all the way down the threads, right? It's gonna stick up like this. All right, so what you're going to do at that point is you're going to take your scrubber and you're gonna go tap, tap, tap. Three times and then you're going to tighten the cap. And you're going to do that until the cap is flush. Okay. Once the cap is flush, you're not done. At this stage, what you want to do is kind of try to manage the dust on the threads. Okay, you'll notice how it's settled mm -hmm. here. All right, which is kind of cool. Um, you got some dust in here, which is okay. This is okay. This is, you know, that's just normal. You can clean that up afterwards. You're going to top it off again. Repeat the sequence. That'll be time, time number two. Do that. You're going to take this off again. Fill it all the way up. Tap it down again. Put our sponge on. And again, now we're going to screw our cap down until it stops. Okay, see, again, it's not flush. So now we're going to tamp it down again. So we remove our bucket, we wipe the bottom off, and then come over here and one, two, three, twist. One, two, three, twist. Is it level? One, two, three. See how much settles that settles it right down? Mm -hmm. Okay. Once you've done it the third time and the cap is flush, you're then going to check the firmness of the pack to make sure that it's consistent and that the pack is firm all the way around. If that's the case, you're done. If it's not, then you're going to repeat the process one more time. 
Typically three times is enough. Sometimes a fourth time is needed. But you just have to check this firmness of the pack. Always check the firmness of the pack before you stop. So they're going to fluctuate a little bit. Primary display. High set.